Hello friends and a happy new year to everyone. I'm back and today I do have a new recipe to show you and this is going to be very simple and delicious. It's banana bread. I do have the ingredients, let's go through them. I do have a half cup of room temperature butter. Mine is salted. You can use unsalted if you wish. I have a half cup of packed brown sugar. I do have two eggs at room temperature. I will use a half teaspoon of cinnamon, one teaspoon of vanilla, one teaspoon of baking soda, a quarter teaspoon of salt. And this is because I have the salted butter. Otherwise, with unsalted butter, you use half teaspoon of salt. I have three ripe bananas. You can even use more ripe than these ones and two cups of all-purpose flour. Before I start combining my ingredients, I'll have to start my oven. I'll do 350 degrees uh, Fahrenheit and that will get it started and warm by the time I finish making my uh, ingredients. The next step I do is to butter my um, baking pan so that it does not stick onto the edges. So I just take the butter here and just do it with my hands. If you don't like messing your hands, wear gloves. Then I add some flour here, the same, same flour I'm gonna use and swish, swish it around to make sure it's coating the edges of my pan all the way around. And there, I have my liner for the pan. Next thing, I will add the dry ingredients together. My quarter teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon of cinnamon, if you like cinnamon, you can add more, but for me, half is always good. And uh, one teaspoon of uh, the baking soda. Then I mix everything together. Until it's all mixed and that's that set it aside the next thing i do is to break my eggs one at a time making sure it's all um, good i pour in i have a piece of shell in there i'll have to remove and that egg is good to add in there. Then I'll add the room temperature butter. See how soft it is already? And the packed brown sugar. Holy, it's packed, it doesn't even wanna come out. Initially, I used to use uh, three quarters of the cup of brown sugar and I find it too sweet. So, I kept on adjusting until I like a half. Still it's sweet, but I just have to be considerate to some people who like sugar. And if you don't want this amount you still find is too strong, you can keep adjusting, but don't reduce it too much. Otherwise it'll put everything off balance. All that is done now, we have to take it to the machine and combine. For comfort, I put this in a lower surface though that, so that I can um, be more comfortable. So, and I will uh, blend this sugar and eggs and the butter until it's all combined very well. I'll go about three to five minutes until I'm satisfied. <laughs> After three minutes of beating, I'm satisfied. It's all 
mixed well and in between I was scraping the edges to make sure everything is combined. We also have to remember the vanilla. You can put it when the machine is running or even after is okay as long as you combine well. And that is one teaspoon. You can use the pure vanilla as I do or the vanilla, uh, the essence. And just combine it well and voila, that's done. Next thing is to mash the bananas. As I say, they have to be really ripe. Most of the time when I have bananas gone really ripe and I don't have time to use them, I do put them in the freezer and they last there for a long, long time. I even have bananas one year old in the freezer and they are still really, really good to use. So I'm going to mash this and continue mashing it till all it's done. Another tip I have for you. If you have your bananas are not really ripe very well, what you can do is if you do have your bananas and they are not really ripe well, you can put them in the oven 10 to 15 minutes, but they have to be the fruit banana. The ready to eat but not ready for baking so put it in the oven 350 degrees 10 to 15 minutes they'll come out really black but you have to put with the skin don't peel them yet and then cool them down and they will be really really soft for mashing now i will have to mix these bananas all of them over here And scrape all that goodness and sweetness in there and mix sometimes the spatula seems flimsy you can use a wooden spoon there you go now the work of our blender is done uh, uh, remaining now is mixing by hand because if you do mix this by blender you have to be very careful otherwise the bread will be very very chewy and not soft so we just have to fold in this mixture other than blending it just mix until you feel it's all well combined and then it's done my mixture is well combined and now i'm going to end, empty it into the tray and this tray by the way is a five by nine and a quarter pan bread pan so there's different sizes you can experiment the deeper the shallow the nice bread shape you are banana bread will have but if it is shallow then it will be flat flat but all it matters it's banana bread flavor so i'll have to spread all this in here and try to make it even as i can you don't want it rising too much on one side and the other side not. So that's done and really not over handling it. Otherwise you will ruin. It doesn't like to be over handled. My oven was ready and I am going to put it in now. I like to put an extra layer so that it's not too darkened at the bottom. This layer will help it. Close my oven. Uh, cooking time, 50 to 60 minutes. So let me do 60 for now. And I can check at the 50th minute to see if it's done or not yet. Welcome back. After 55 minutes of baking, the aromas were filling the kitchen and I went to check and yes, my um, banana bread is done and here it is. So I took it out. I will leave it out here 
for 10 minutes then we can come and flip it out on the cooling rack but here is to let it settle so it comes out easily from the pan my banana bread has been sitting here for 10 minutes so it's even the pan has cooled i just have to run a knife easily here so that it can be easy to come out and i will turn it over here into my pan into my board and i can flip it this way there it's really uh, done it's cool if you want you can go ahead and cut it or you can keep it uh, to um, cool further into a cooling rack and see that uh, the butter and the flour that I added at the edges really helped release the cake really easy let's see how it looks when we cut a piece I'll cut further here look at that it's still steaming hot but that is so beautiful and if I leave it cool further it will be easier to cut and you can see my banana pieces if you don't want that you blend the the bananas even more and then you have a wonderful smooth banana bread but i love this way there you have seen how i have done it step by step really really easy and simple so you can go ahead give it a try if you love this recipe you can also check my other ones and please remember to like subscribe and share until we see you again in another beautiful video bye